Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to give you uh, a little bit of a garden update. Uh, Jim worked really hard on the side yard here, just a few little branches. Um, but the rose bush, if you looked at some of our previous garden videos, this um, bush was crazy. And there's new foliage now coming out. So Jim took all the dead branches. He worked so hard, cut himself up good. Um, but look at how life comes back, you know, in the spring. Now we're getting into summer. Um, we've got our hosta here. Kind of looks a little sad, but you know what? It's because we haven't had rain like we should. Um, hopefully, hopefully on Sunday it's going to rain. Got a few little weeds to pull out of here. I'm not sure what this is, um, but it's not a weed. This, this right here, I think this is... That looks nice. It's like a a vine type plant, but I think we'll leave it here. We do need something over here. Um, look at the green coming out of there. So I think we just need to take. I can work on that. Um, not today. Maybe on the weekend, pull out some of that dead stuff. Um, there was a lily here, but as you can see, that all needs to be pulled out. This is all all the dead stuff. So. Um, I can work on that. This is really pretty. It has some little um, purple pink flowers, I should say. So yeah, I'll work on that. After the video, I'll just pull that out, get that rid of that. Love our little topiary. And then over here, if you recall us telling you there was a pole there, Jim cut it down. Seems like a lot of the homes here have this pole, this flag pole either in the back or the front yard that was a thing and these beautiful lilies I'm pretty sure they're lilies that are growing um, and more are budding out it's just Jim wants to like have this all grass and not mow around it but I really love it I think it's so pretty if he if he you know towards fall if he wants to take this and maybe transplant it to the side of the house that would be fine um, but I don't want to pull it out all together so okay so we'll work around over to the front of the house we've got this is doing okay but I think it needs to be transplanted I think that pot is a little too small um, but it is growing good I cut back I actually say Jim cut back he did he cut back um, the dead parts of this little tree rose um, but it's going really well got my hummingbird feeder out little cat watching over everything and we need to do something here now these plants I think these are annuals because um, it didn't a friend of mine bought this for us and I'll just cut it down but I don't think that's gonna come back got to pull these weeds out so we we need something here definitely um, these cute little bushes they're great you can't go wrong they're hardy this came back um, I'm not sure what this was um, I'm cut these dead dead uh, dead heads off um, but it's coming back I don't remember what it was I'll have to look back at my videos and see and then this too, I think it was a mini sunflower. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, these were lilies here and they had a slow death. Got to pull all that garbage out. But our hostas are flourishing. Our neighbor said, nothing will come back. It's going to die. You can take that out. It looks a little sad right now because again not a lot of rain and there's supposed to be some really pretty flowers coming out i hope they don't die because of the lack of rain I don't, uh, yeah and this is a hydrangea one of my is my favorite flower that tulips i love sunflowers i think it's i think it's a hydrangea is my favorite but this is doing really well i'm I'm really proud of that. Um, 
this needs, we just need to clean up some debris laying around here. Found the air conditioner. I, that soffit, I don't know where that came from. Um, yeah, we got to work on that. <laughs> getting, getting all that cleaned up. Just a few little weeds, but the grass is doing really well. Um, despite the bad weather, there's a few brown spots here and there. So, just hoping that that rain starts up soon, but it uh, looks like I'll take you over here. I forgot what tree this is. It's not a cherry blossom. It's a I don't remember what it was, but I don't know if those things were going to flower out. I, I, I don't know. I'm just not sure. This is a little suet holder, and the birds, uh, there was one just laying around in the garage. I put it out. They, they finished it off. And then I need to fill up the bird feeder. Man, they are just eating us out of house and home. Now, I'm going to show you walk really quiet over here this was left here by the previous owner and I, I, I've seen a bird fly in there in and out but I don't know I don't know if they were just for fun creating a nest but or this is leftover but we always wait till the end of the season I don't like to disturb it any but what I found is they stuffed it so much that the back door was coming open and that's there so you can clean it out and we'll have to do that at the end of the season but and this morning I didn't have my phone when Pekas and I went for a walk but I saw I think that's a pilot piloted woodpecker it has a red head and then white and then black um, wings it was just it was beautiful. I wish I would have been able to get a picture of it to share with you. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a good day, everyone.